What have you seen from uh, Buffalo? Um, you, you're familiar because you saw him last year. I mean, is it largely the same, or is there some new stuff that is you know, a little different than what you saw last year? Uh, pretty much the same, using Stefan with the you know uh, explosive plays, using Beasley for you know possession, and he's able to get in the space pretty good. So um, pretty much the same as last year. How tough is it now, like Josh Allen, and you know one of those guys like an arm, and also has no problem, you know, taking off with it or running and stuff. I know you know you guys face Tannehill twice a year. Playing those type of quarterbacks, how difficult is that? Um, like you said, it's just like Tannehill. You got to be aggressive. You got to be disciplined. Versus a quarterback like that, um, thirty plus pump fakes, which he hit me on one of those last year in the playoffs. Um, that's just something that I have to remember when I'm at the point of attack. Basically scramble, pump, and then tuck it and go on you? Yeah, or even in the pocket. You know, he's able to get you out of coverage, make you undisciplined. And even when he scrambles and get out of the pocket to, you know, get ready to uh, extend the series. What did you think of Hard Knocks? First of all, do you, do you like the concept in general, just, you know, the exposure or whatever? And then what did you think of the actual episode? Um, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's cameras all over the place. Um, but as far as the TV show, I haven't watched the entire thing yet, but it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. What you think about it? Uh, I mean, it's cool. Yeah. That's the same thing. You know, you see other sides of guys that you don't see, that we For don't sure. see. You know, you see it all the time, so it's probably boring to you. No, nah, no, nah, it's cool. Uh, it's something that I embraced from my teammates' perspective. You know, I didn't know um, there was a, a baby reveal, gender reveal, so um, that was pretty cool. And just diving into the lives of my teammates, um, something that – you know, we can't take for granted. So um, we see each other in our element each and every day as far as ball-wise, but we don't get to, you know, learn, a, learn the backstory of, you know, who Carson Wentz is and who um, all the guys are on the team. So um, that's, I think that's what I take away mostly from the show. So. Did you sort of do that at some point when y'all started uh, having, having a DB reveal party too like that? No. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, we've had a, a couple guys have babies, but um, as far as myself, uh, we're going to make the football my baby for right now, so, <laughs> yeah. Kenny, uh, the secondary's got a lot of different injuries right now, and guys coming in and out uh, in corner and in safety, but you know, you're able to be out there every single play as you have for a while, so... Uh, how important is it to you right now to be kind of one guy that, that this team can rely on in the slot and, and be out there all the time? And I guess how does that kind of help you guys kind of keep this thing steady when, when you know you have a guy like you with your experience that's out there all the time? Well, I mean, you know, being out there each play isn't promised. So um, whenever I am, you know, I'm thankful for, for that and to be out there with the guys. But, you know, the chemistry, um, it goes in and out at times. Like some guys are able to see certain looks, some guys – haven't seen the look and haven't got the repetition of, you know, what I see and, and what the guys before them have seen. So it's all about keeping each other fresh, um, confidence-wise, um, to, to make the play. Because when it's your first time out there, things are going to be going, run, running fast. So the communication and confidence is, is pretty vital um, to keep everybody, you know, on the same page. They have both talked about that, they, how they've gotten more confident this year than maybe they were last year. I mean, have you seen that change with them much? And, and what is the key to getting over that hurdle? Um, as far as in the room, I've seen the most growth with uh, Isaiah and Rock, um, just as far as like on a personal level and, you know, emotionally and uh, confidence wise. And it's pretty cool to see, you know, a guy really settle in and, you know, just play his game and, you know, you just give the green light to just make plays. And I think that's what we all um, are here to do is produce and, um, you know, each each week in practice, I just feel like we get a little better. We get a little closer as far as, you know, making plays and keeping each other on the high. Kenny, you were all over the ball against Jacksonville. When you, when you have a game like that where your hands are all over and you don't come out with the pick, are you, are you I'm sorry? Yourself? Wait, when you, when, when you have like three pass breakups and Couple chances of pick, and you don't. Come, we're so used to seeing you come away with one. You don't come away with one. Does it bug you? Does it bug me? Yeah, because uh, it's my job to take the ball away, just like the other ten guys that I line up with. Um, and you know, plays like that where you think it's it's just that easy, um, it makes it a little harder too at the same time. But um, 
we just got to come away with it and give our offense the best, you know, possession to go score. So, yeah. You guys, um, as Last a, one. It's a defense in general, uh, how much of how much of the, the culture of the takeaways just become? I mean, you've been here a long time now, and you've seen them become kind of I don't want to say second nature, but you guys are thinking takeaway first, I imagine, right? I mean, is that now instinctive and just part of the culture? Yeah, I mean, and definitely around this time, you want to just be thinking about the ball. But, you know, you know, coming into the season, you know, you got to get the jitters out. You got to get the the rust off to get back into season form. I think I talked about that earlier this season. But um, I think we're where we want to be uh, mindset-wise, mentality-wise to, you know, take the ball away um, as best as possible. So, you know, this weekend we are, we're going against a very good defense. I know I play defense, but it's like a defense versus defense type of mm-hmm. – you know, mentality too, because you know we obviously respect theirs as well. But we're we're trying to overcome and take respect as well. On top of when you look and you guys talk about the turnovers, you see that they're number one in the league in turnovers. Their defense, you guys take that personal. Like you guys supposed to, be, you know, you guys. I mean, no doubt. I think I think sports in general, and talking about the NFL, you play for the love and respect of everybody. And yourself, you know, like so. Whenever you step on the field, you wanna you wanna come away with this ball game, saying that we're the better defense.